song The Glory of Love from the 1967 movie Guess Who's Coming to Dinner. But the song was written many years before that by a man named Billy Hill and recorded by Benny Goodman and basically recorded and sung by just about everybody. It's a song that is just a perennial, isn't it? Uh, it is now. It's got that pouring of syrup type feeling, but it's also got a very powerful, poignant, comforting, cent comforting center of truth. Of and let you leave home just to cry a little, yeah. A kid can sing it. Uh, an old person can sing it. It's mm -hmm. just a real oh, timeless, kind, timeless of kind of song. That's the story of, that's the glory of love. There's the version, which is during the opening credits, where the, the airplane comes in to San Francisco. The orchestral version. The orchestral version. But that's not the version we're going to talk about. We're going to talk about the other one. You got to give a little a song is introduced a in a nightclub and the singer is Jacqueline Fontaine the thing that caught my attention you know being the young gay boy that I was <laughs> uh, is this huge elaborate hairdo that she's got this high up here with two ponytails jet black hair but the very very appropriate for 1967 the hair and the or not? Well, uh, l let's say that it was maximizing some styles that were uh, being tried out. Right. Except she had about three or four styles going in that one On head. On one head? Yes. So let's talk about Jacqueline Fontaine, the performer. She didn't have a huge movie career, but boy, she had a career. It's a nightclub career. It's a nightclub career punctuated by little... Uh, cameo appearances. Cameo appearances. Yeah. And you're invited into these films because people know you from your appearances in Las Vegas. In 1954, she apparently was singing at a, a golf tournament and Bing Crosby heard her sing and asked her to be the singer in the film The Country Girl. She got this wonderful little cameo in The Country Girl singing a song called Dissertation on the State of Bliss by Harold Arlen and Ira Gershwin. Love and learn, love and learn, it's a breeze, then a burn, you retreat, then return, you may have climbed the tree of knowledge, but when you love, you really learn. And she gets to sit there and have a an entire scene, an entire song, and do a duet with Derbingle. Take me home, Dad. It's a dream and it's a part. Ah, oh, what you thought it was, was not. But when I begin to cling, and angels start to sing, what you have learned is, is you have. go from, I mean, top big budget movies to not just low budget movies, but trash. <laughs> well, she was the queen of the cat fight. They put her in a movie called Outlaw Women. They put her in a movie called Dalton's Women. And in both, she sang a song and then had a cat fight and the petticoats are formed. What is interesting about her career is here she has this wonderful showcase in The Country Girl. And two years later, she's starring with men in gorilla suits <laughs> in a movie called Untamed Mistress. And you saw it. Yes. And were you shocked? Shocked. 
Shocked. Meanwhile, this career as a singer keeps going. Keeps going. She is truly a lady of the nightclub, isn't she? Yeah, absolutely. I admire her. I mean, she's a trooper. You've got to respect a woman that can, can sustain a career like That's that. That's right. And she sang Glory of Love. They say that she says that that was her idea. And if that was her idea, she knows her stuff, doesn't exactly. she? Exactly. Proves the point. Let's do the little. Okay. And what that's about is not hanging on to the little oh oh oh. The way that, a normal person would yes, say it. Yes, the vowel, but hanging on, mashing, literally mashing the L on the roof of your mouth. Try it. Okay. See what happens. You got. You got to laugh. Okay. You've got to laugh a little. Yes. Cry. What you have 